What's going on guys, Adam here. Welcome back to Flip Room. And today we are going to be unboxing a branded, mixed, branded, bale sack, premium mix. Blah, blah. Start again. <laughs> What's going on guys, welcome back to Flip Room. My name is Adam. Oh my God, I'm getting all wrong. What's going on guys, Adam here. Welcome back to Flip Room. And today we're going to be opening up a premium mixed bale from Boom Wholesale. This is not sponsored. This is not affiliated. I spent my hard earned money on this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, I bought various sacks from these guys in the past. Like, I personally quite like them. You can get hit and misses, like, as with any wholesaler, but I have found them to be quite reliable for the time that I've been using them. Um, as with anything, do your own research, um, because wholesale is, is so hit and miss. But let's show you what we find in this one. And we're gonna pick it out. I'm just going to show you. So these sacks cost £238 plus fat plus post. So they come out at over just £300, which um, I don't think that you can decide whether that's good or bad, right? It's not for me to decide. Um, I think it's good value for money, but let's see whether you agree or not. So what I've done in the past is with my whatnot shows is basically done mystery pulls, right? So someone, you would be bidding out and whatnot, but, 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 but I would put my hand in and say, kind of feels like a blazer, I don't know, it feels like a blazer. You guys would bid for whatever, and I'd put it out, you would have won this. Um, as an example, this is a Balmain Paris blazer, Balmain Paris. Um, I personally haven't seen it before, but it, I think it's a good brand. In fact, I know it's a half decent brand. Don't know what it's worth, but we'll see. Um, these look sick. These are, wow, what are these? I've never seen these before. Um, FUBU? Look at the tapered going down. These are unreal. These are sick. <laughs> hey, Steve, right, mate? Got a neighbor there. FUBU track. I mean, I've never heard of that before, but I think that is quality. Got the drawstring at the bottom as well. They should be majority grade A. So, but as we all know, there's always a room for error. Oh my God, I've just realized that part of this table is wet. Right, gonna have to go somewhere else, bear with me. This is a one take show, hence why. <laughs> Next up we've got Levi's. Big hit hoodie. Men's size XL, good size, good print, staple piece. Next up we've got Polo Ralph Lauren, cable knit. Big chunky cable knit, size large. Get a nice little staple piece. This is nice. Colour block, Levi. Brilliant embroidery on the logo. Again, looks good condition. Size, medium. It's really, really nice. Next up we've got Adidas. What means like cropped. Peach cream white jumper. Next up we've got a Carhartt, like distressed. I see like the colors slightly faded, extra small, like a pink. It's quite nice. But like, again, quite a staple piece. Now, in every one of these sacks, you always get a barber piece. Um, this is a barber, sorry, I thought it was Barbie at the beginning, but it, this is a Dickies medium, like a wax jacket, I would say. Really nice. And this is sometimes you get a couple of, what I find, you always get a couple of nice heavy hitters in here. This could be one of those. Dickies Westfield, size mediums, like a khaki green. Button up jacket, nice sort of corduroy collar as well. Very nice. Next up, we've got, always get a classic North Face in here. Like a nice little, is it, did you say teal? Women's North Face. Very nice. So they are, Boom Wholesale are a recycling centre up in a base in Kent. They don't offer any hand pink 
any hand picking, which is why I personally quite like them because then you know the cream hasn't been taken out of the bales that they actually sell online. Um, so yeah, I actually, I actually prefer that they don't offer hand picking. Uh, Polaraf Lorraine, size medium. This is actually, a, I would say, is that a medium women's or a medium kids? I need to look into that, but yeah. Just a nice little kind of Harrison jacket there. Nice little bright red. Next up, we've got a Burgess Burghouse Gillet. Hyde, uh, Hyde, Hydra Down 600. You guys can obviously count up the number of pieces that you find in here. Oh my goodness, this is, this is my favorite coming up. Come on now, come on now size small it's my size as well <laughs> come on um obviously feeler not a big hitted brand right but another little quilt with inside um this feels vintage i don't know if it is vintage or not who knows i'm not an expert in clothing but the back is mad um i've got a bit of a soft spot for like the brands of like reebok feeler is definitely i mean that's just something else absolutely love that might be a keeper um, that's really really cool love that love that right so we're getting to the, get into some jeans 511s 32 32 I'm just going to show you the, the bottoms they look they look really nice condition um so as i mentioned in the beginning this comes to just over 300 pounds once you include the vat and the post in my personal opinion, it's worth waiting until they do an offer. They only do an offer a, a few times a year and you get like 20, 15, 20% off and they'll have it like running for a few days. And that's when I normally buy a few of the bowels and stock up and then I'll just wait. Um, Cause I say, sometimes they are hit and miss, right? But generally they're quite here. A pair of diesel jeans. I don't do too well with diesel. diesel. I don't know why. Let me know in the comments whether you do, whether you do quite well with diesel, but I don't. Another pair of Levi's, um, Big E. 311 shaping just classic jeans i quite like you know what this year um earlier this year i was selling a few jeans and i quite liked it for the first time I don't normally sell jeans nice pair of burgers cargo box very nice lightweight it's like you've got the zip as well so they can kind of convert into like combat shorts very nice next up we've got a Polar Ralph Lauren, size small, looks really nice, like dark grey, charcoal bottoms. Next up, we've got just a nice staple Adidas. Always check the waist on these, waist feels good. Sometimes you get blown out waist. Size 2XL um, with the kind of like cuffed zip bottom. Just kind of throw back early white, like it's just gives you Y two K vibes in it. It's obviously not more of a modern piece, but still, it's nice. Oh, this looks very nice. This looks cool. How about that? Adidas um, size small, machine washable. Really cool. This looks excellent. This almost looks like it's brand new. See where the tag may have been as well. Really nice. I don't know if that's 90s or not, but that's really nice. This is giving me Juicy Couture vibes. Let's see if I'm right. I am right. Juicy Couture, which is coming back. I'm seeing more and more people rock some Juicy Couture in a minute. How cool is that? Little J as well on the zip. Nice size women's. Do some control sport size small. By the way, if you like any of this and you see this video early, drop me a DM over on Instagram at the flip room. We can sort something out. We've got a nice little Dickies full zip fleece. This is perfect now as we kind of get into the fall. Um, these bags always typically have um, jumpers. Uh, hoodies, sweatshirts, all that type of stuff. And obviously if you buy that earlier in the year, it's sometimes harder to sell it over the, over the summer period. So um, as we now kind of enter or exit 
August. It's really nice. So this is just a classic Burke house. Again, quarter zip fleece. Nothing too special. Now this is a bit more special. This is very nice. We've got a Burke house, but it's like half, um, I, say, I don't wanna say soft shell, but like half like soft and then half like teddy fleece on the way down, which is really nice. Burke house size, men's extra large, navy and red. That is really nice. One of my favorite pieces from the bow so far. Let's carry on. Um, Size, small, Nike bottoms. I think they're kids as well. So this is where I'm trying to say, um, they are on tacky, I think they're kids small. So you have to allow for a margin of error, right? With any of these bowels. So uh, in my opinion, that shouldn't be in here. This should be a premium mixed bowel. Um, and I don't think kids should be in here, in my opinion, so. Um, we've got a just pair of average Adidas tree foil shorts. Got the zip pockets, though, which is quite nice. Another pair of shorts, interesting. Ralph Lauren, but these are a bit nicer. Ralph Lauren, size medium, super shorts. Which uh, I need to sell these quite quickly as we come out of summer season now, but they are actually really nice. Oh, I see a big print on the polo. Oh, I was hoping it'd be a double print. It's not though. But still, you've got the big pony, Ralph Lauren, established uh, at a four on there. I was hoping you had like a big print on the back, but unfortunately not, but still quite nice, a bit different. Um, typically, I, won't, I don't pick up Ralph Lauren um, in the wild, but if it was a little bit different like that, then I would. So that was nice. A Lee jumper, wow. A Lee jumper, just pink. Not more to say about that. Okay, looks like we're gonna get into some shirts now. I don't wanna put up there. Right. Let me know what you're thinking about the bow so far. Got a polar Ralph Lauren, but this is like a, is it a rugby one? Yeah, it's like a rugby one. It's always so by the rugby one because it's got like the uh, rubberized buttons. But again, that's quite nice. We've got a Nike Golf. I don't think they make, um, from memory, I don't think they make Nike Golf apparel anymore. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me. Unless I'm right, then you can quote me. Uh, but yeah, classic little night golf. Um, so, so majority of this should be grade A, eh? but there are chances that, you know, like this, you see the collar's discolored, right? So that's gonna need a bit of an oxy wash. Um, but so far, I've not seen anything actually damaged. So that's okay. <gasps> Ooh. Right, take a guess. Leave a comment now down below what you think this is gonna be. Um, this, is a lovely Chelsea size large with the crest on the Adidas. So that'd have been early 2000s. It's a shame that's not my size. If anyone know, for people know, for people that follow me, follow me, know a huge Chelsea fan. I'm oh, gutted that's not a medium. Because I would have absolutely smashed that. Got just a classic Adidas. I'm not sure that is. Oh, what's that called? It's not T-Rex, it's not the T-Rex on it, is it? But just an Adidas kind of running top. Next up we've got, we haven't had a barber so far. Normally you get a barber, you can always get a barber piece. Just a classic Adidas. Tree foil top, size medium, nothing crazy. Next up we've got, Night tee, two XL, again, bang average, pocket tee. Looks to be stretched out, boxy. That might be one for the beat actually, so there you go. Next up we've got another Nike, heavy on the night today. Just a classic white polo, 
saw us XL. Good condition, man. Looks to look like, ooh, we're about to hit a piece of tweed. Wonder if this is a, you always get a Harris jacket in this. Let's check it out together. Harris, handwoven Harris tweed. Lightweight, really nice colors on this one though. Check that out. Really cool. And we've got one more piece. I'd be surprised if it's surprised if it's not a barber. Probably one of the only bars I've ever not had a barber. Told you, I buy these bows often, guys. Like, <laughs> little barber chili. Uh, this is the Westmoreland Barber Gile. Barber Care, size medium. Really, really nice. Overall, I'm fairly happy with that. I'm really pleased. For me, the, the personal favorite, and it isn't monetary value, was that feeler jacket. Really, really happy with that. I mean, you've got the barber piece, you've got the Harris tweed. You also had a couple of the Berghaus, like big teddy fleeces, which were nice. Um, you had the Dickies coat, you had some nice jeans, some other sweaters. I mean, overall, I'm pleased with that. As I say, it, come, it comes to just over 300 pound. Um, let me know in the comments down below, would you have paid 300 pound for that? This is an example of what you can get. This is not affiliated, there's no sponsor, there's no link down below, nothing like that. I'm just giving you a true represent, representation <laughs> of what you can get in one of these bales. Overall, I'd probably give this a, a solid, solid eight out of 10. I'm happy. I think each piece will probably come to about five pound, right? And there's some pieces that you think absolutely no way is that worth five pound, I completely agree. But overall, I think I'm fairly happy with that. Let me know in the comments down below if you are, if you would have been happy with that really keen to see it thanks for watching as always there will be some more content coming on the channel as always who knows drop me to vlog it on whatnot i will plug my whatnot down below if you want to come and watch it because most of the stuff will probably end up on whatnot um so yeah thanks so much for watching appreciate your support hit that like button it really helps the channel out please subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys soon